This is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, day two, CUCM, CUC, IM and P, and UCCX cluster installations, CUC subscriber installation. This drawing describes how to install Cisco CUC 9.1.2 subscribers. This is the version that was packaged with RBE 6000. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IMNP and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. The CUC pub installation should have completed by now. And since we've deployed the CUC VMs from OVAs and attached the installation media, we can proceed to add the subscriber to the publisher and install the CUC subscriber. We started this installation at 11.45. Launching this installation should take about 30 minutes. We'll do these installs at the same time. The CUC pub installation must be complete for the subscriber installations to be launched. You shouldn't have to wait. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM pub. The publisher installation should be completing. CUC pub should be done or nearly done, so we can move on to the CUC subscriber installation. First, you need to add the subscriber to the publisher. Launch whatever browser you use. We use Internet Explorer. Web browse to this address. Ignore the security warning and click continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin, the application username you configured during installation, and your password, which you also configured during installation. When we logged in, we found none of the drop-down menus worked. We enabled Compatibility View for CUC Pub. We added both the name and the IP address. Navigate to System Settings, Cluster. Click Add New. Add the subscriber server and provide a description. Navigate to Find and List Servers and click Find. You should see both servers listed before moving on. Now we install the subscriber. CUC 1A has been deployed to Enterprise 20 ESX IA and the ISO is attached. We've added CUC 1A to CUC Pub. Now CUC 1A can be installed. Select CUC 1A from the inventory and open the console. Start the VM using the green arrow icon in the toolbar. CUC 1A should start. Select Yes to perform a media check. When you click inside the console, your cursor will be stuck there. Press Ctrl Alt to free your cursor from the console. The media check will run. After a short while, the integrity of the media should be verified. Select Cisco Unity Connection and press OK. Installing CUC also installs a co-resident ELM. This is a new install. Press Yes. 
Press Proceed to perform the full installation immediately, without a floppy, with the platform configuration. We're not applying a patch, so select No. Select Continue to proceed with the installation without a floppy. Select the best place to live for your time zone and press OK. Auto negotiation doesn't make a lot of sense for a VM. Select Continue. Leave the MTU size alone. Press No. Press No so that you can configure a static server IP address. Provide the static network configuration and press OK. For Enterprise 20, CUC1A has IP address 172.20.203.71 with a mask of 255.255.255.0 and a default gateway of 172.20.203.5. Press Yes to enable DNS. Enter the primary and secondary DNS servers and domain name. For Enterprise 20, we have only one DNS server at 172.20.100.101 with the domain enterprise20.ca. Provide the platform administrator ID and password and press OK. The platform administrator has access to the console and the OS administration and disaster recovery web pages. Provide the certificate information and press OK. Unless you have a security team to provide these values, just enter something reasonable. Press No to install a subscriber. We added this server to the first node, also known as the publisher, so press OK. Press No to do the whole installation right now. Provide the name, address, and security password for the publisher and press OK. We're not doing SMTP, so press No. The installation is good to go. Press OK. The installation should take about 45 minutes. When it completes successfully, you can log in using the platform administrator username and password. The CUCM and CUC1A subscriber installations are running in parallel. The UCCX pub installation completed. The CUC1A installation has been launched. All three CUCM subscriber and the CUC1A installations are in progress. It's 12.15 now. Install the IMMP subscriber after lunch. Speaking of lunch, why don't you go get some right now? Coming up next, CUCM, CUC, IMMP, and UCCX cluster installations. Integrate with CUCM and install IMMP subscribers. Thanks for watching.